Well, good morning. Praise the name of Jesus. Another wonderful day, great opportunity to be alive and well and giving glory and praise to our maker, but also being an, an, an example to many in the world of the goodness of God. Today, I'd like to encourage you from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter number 1 and verses 18. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verses 18. And Paul says, For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is a power of God. So from this particular verse over here, Paul is actually mentioned some things that we need to pay attention to. He's saying the message of the cross, which means the cross in which Jesus Christ was crucified on had a message. And if we do not understand the message on that cross, we will never appreciate or understand the cross. So we understand that the cross was actually a wooden uh, cross that was placed so that whoever committed any kind of sin during that time was being hanged on it. That's why the Bible said, told us that you know, Christ was crucified on the cross. Why? Him who knew no sin was made to be sin for us. In other words, the message on the cross was simply telling us that whoever is put on that, sin, on that cross is cursed. It's somebody who has been cursed. So therefore, the message of the cross is simply telling us this. It bore the penalty of a curse, which is of sin. And therefore, Paul is saying... The message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. In other words, there are people who are perishing today because they do not understand that on the cross, Jesus was crucified. Why? Because he bore the pain and he bore the sins of humanity. The sin of humanity was placed on him on that cross. And so the cross is saying, you do not need to perish and be away from God. You need to be connected to God. And therefore, it is foolishness to those who are perishing because they do not understand that the penalty of sin has already been paid on the cross. But Paul says not only that to those who are perishing, but he says to us who are being saved. In other words, to us who are being saved. So this is a continuous salvation, which means we were saved when we accepted Jesus as our Savior. Why? Because him who knew no sin was made to be sin for us that we might be made right with God. So now we've been made right with God. We were saved, but then we continue to be saved every single day of our lives in ways of pleasing the Father. It says, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God, which means the message of the cross is a part of God and to us in our daily living. So in other words, you and I need to acknowledge every single day the power of God coming to us from the message of the cross. Now we've got to understand that the Bible says, my people perish for lack of knowledge, which means people are not looking into why Jesus was crucified. They are not looking into what was the reason why Jesus was crucified. They are not looking into why I was crucified together with him. Just like Paul says, I've been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth within me. For the life which I now live in this flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Why? If you do not have that knowledge, you're going to be destroyed. You're going to perish. But Paul says, those who know the message of the cross will not perish. Why? That's why you as a believer can simply say this. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Why? Because it is a part of God unto me. It is a part of God unto me. It is a part of God unto me. Which means when Jesus went on the cross and I accepted Jesus as my savior, now the power of God begins to flow towards me. That's why he's saying that there's an exceeding greatness of God's power towards me who believe according to the power that was worked in Christ when he was raised up from the dead. Which means when he went to the cross, he died for me. He did not die for himself. He died for me, but God raised him up from the dead so that I can share in his life, which means the very same power that raised up Christ from the dead is now residing inside of me. Why? Because I understand the message of the cross, which is the penalty of sin is death, and Christ has died to sin once and for all so that we can all live unto Christ. So today I'd like to encourage you. Open your eyes. Pray to God to give you revelation knowledge so that you can continue to experience the power of God that is flowing towards you as you live for Christ since he has already died for you. And once you understand that, then the message of the cross won't be foolishness to you. It will be the power of God 
unto you who believe. Stay blessed and have a wonderful day.